how to install Ruby on Windows 10 computer. Hello and welcome. My name is Amul and in this video, I'm going to show you how to download Ruby, the latest release on Windows 10 computer and install it. So to get Ruby, simply visit this website, which is only for Windows users. It's rubyinstaller.org and you can see this is for Windows only. So to download Win Ruby for Windows computer, you can click here download button or you click here or you can download it from the GitHub page. So simply go to GitHub page here and scroll down and here you will see clone to clone or download. So you simply want to click here download zip and so you can download it either from GitHub or from rubyinstaller.org website. Let me go ahead and download it from here. So I'm going to click here download. And you will see Ruby community recommends Windows user to use Ruby 2.4 installer. So depending on the operating system type, you can choose 32 bit or 64 bit. To check Windows 10 operating system type, you simply right click here on the start menu and go to system. Here you, here you will see system type, 64-bit operating system, 64-bit based uh, processor. So it's a 64-bit operating system. So I'll close it and download the 64-bit. If it's 32-bit, you download here. If it's older operating system like XP or Vista, I would recommend using these like 2.1 2 or 2.2. So for Windows 10, you can download this one, which is 2.4.1, 64-bit. Click on it, and it will start downloading. Then you have to save it. You can save wherever you want it to be. I'm going to save it in the Downloads folder, and click Save. So once the download is done, I can open this file from here, or I can directly go to the Downloads folder from here. So you see this is the Ruby installer. I can right click here, open it, or simply double click on it. This is going to take few seconds here. Check the box, I accept the license, and click next. You want to make sure that these boxes are checked. Add Ruby ex ex executable to your path, associate dot Ruby and RB dot rb and rbw files with ruby installation use utf8 as a default external coding encoding perfectly fine then you say next install and this is going to take just a few seconds So Ruby is really easy language to start with and it's really, it has really good features. A lot of modern languages are inspired by Ruby's feature. So if you start with Ruby, you're going to learn a lot and very quickly as well. So it's almost done. I thank you for your patience. And here we are. Run RIDK install. See, I'll show you what these are. Basically, these are command prompt alternative. So if you finish, uh, it will come up with this one. So you can choose any of these, but since I already have CMD, I'm going to close it. And to check Ruby whether it's been installed and added to your computer path, you simply go ahead and open the CMD. You can go to the com uh, Windows Start menu and type CMD. You can find it from here. Or simply go to the Run box and then type CMD. So let me go ahead and check Ruby. 
So Ruby is installed, it's 2.4.1. There's a Ruby interactive shell, which you can find from IRB, just type IRB, and this is Ruby interactive shell. Here you can check a lot of things. Put, then you can um, say, thank you for, watching this video and it says thank you for watching this video okay so this is a very awesome thing it works perfectly fine so ruby is awesome language you can do simple arithmetics as well awesome so this is how you can use it to exit out of you simply type exit and you are out okay thank you so much for watching this video please like share and subscribe for my channel have a good day bye for now